This is a mighty icon in reggae, authentic yeah. reggae music, which I much prefer. The authentic reggae music, and it's my absolute pleasure to be in this sister's present right here, Sister Carol. How you doing, Queen? I'm all right. Blessed love and greetings. Thank you very much for even considering to get on Baba TV every time, Fire. Well, first of all, I'm one of the original roots and culture artists out of Kingston, Jamaica. And my career began some 36 years ago, right here in New York. So I'm very thankful that even now I still want it here in New York City and all over the world to perform and to, to, to record and to, to, to do different aspects of my career. Um, as far as reggae music, I just know that the music is just gonna get bigger and bigger like Bob said till you find it one people. It's not really so much a change of the music, it's the, the, the original roots to maintain the right. cultural aspect of it. Getting and being as close to nature as possible and also making sure that every message we impart be positive. Might it be political, spiritual, educational, emotional. You know, we try to keep it positive because the essence of the music is that the, the simultaneous connection that goes on between the drum and the bass in the music is very synonymous to the heartbeat. That's why wherever you are in the world, you can feel and be a part of it because it's like a heartbeat music, you know? When they say one drop, they mean, you know what I mean? It's like beating like your heart. So we have, we have had the opportunity to perform in places like Japan where the people they don't, they don't even know how to speak English, but they gravitate so much to the music because of the heartbeat, with the drum and the bass, feeling like, just like their heartbeat. So right away we win them over, you know? And that is the real essence of the music. Reggae music means music of the king. So, you know, say, it have to be special. And that's why people can relate to it all over the world, because it's just like, <laughs> it's just like their heartbeat. Kiba Walshi. So, Adat, you know? Yeah. But do you have anything? What do you have coming up? Do you have a new CD out? Well, presently, um, in about another month and a half or so, I'm going to be releasing um, an album entitled THC, The Healing Cure. Having the world come to recognize and learn the importance of the plant, marijuana. It's not just for smoking and recreation and to get high. Letting them know the medicinal properties of the herb, how it can heal the mind, the body and the soul. So basically the songs are imparting the same messages and celebrating what you call legality, discrimination. You know, it's just um, making them more aware of this plant that's been scrutinized and, and, and um, and, 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 and degraded over the years, how much now, like the bigger um, commercial entities are running in to be a part of what is to be made, you know. So the album is scheduled to be released late July. Um, have you worked with Midnight? I know you've heard of Midnight. No, Aki, Becca, Aki Becca is the name now. Well, I've performed on several festivals and shows with them but I've personally never really like work with them. Okay. It's just like on shows and and um different festivals. Yeah. Right. Well I thank you very much for giving Certainly me your time, sister. Alright, Baba TV. Alright. One love and respect.